What is the most heavily armored vehicle in the world? Welcome to Amazing Weapons, the channel where we explore the most awesome and powerful weapons in the world. In this video, we will explore the Namer, an Israeli armored personnel carrier that is based on a tank chassis and can withstand almost any threat on the battlefield. But how did Israel come up with this beast? What makes it so special? And why it is considered to be the best protected APC in the world today? Let's find out. The story of the Namer begins in the 1990s, when Israel was looking for a way to upgrade its old armored personnel carriers, such as the Achzerit, which were converted from captured Soviet tanks. Israel wanted to have a new APC that could match the protection and mobility of its main battle tanks, the Merkava series. The idea was to use the Merkava chassis as a base for a new APC, and to equip it with a remote-controlled weapon station and a spacious troop compartment. However, Due to lack of funds and other priorities, the development of the new APC did not progress much until the 2000s, when Israel faced new threats and challenges in its conflicts with Hezbollah and Hamas. These conflicts exposed the vulnerability of the existing APCs to improvised explosive devices and anti-tank missiles, which caused many casualties among Israeli soldiers. Israel realized that it needed a more survivable and effective APC to support its ground forces. In 2005, Israel revealed the first prototype of its new APC, called Nemera, which was based on the Merkava Mark I tank chassis. The Nemera was tested and evaluated by the IDF and was also offered for export customers. However, no orders were received, and Israel decided to abandon the conversion plan and instead build a new APC from scratch, using the Merkava Mark IV tank chassis. This new APC was named Namer, and it was designed by computer and assembled by the Israeli Ordnance Corps. The Namer was officially presented by the IDF in 2008 and entered service in limited numbers. The Namer was designed to provide infantry with the same level of protection and mobility as the Merkava Mark IV tanks which are considered to be among the best tanks in the world. The Namer has a modular armor system that can withstand various types of threats, including mines, rockets, missiles, and bombs. The Namer also has a V-shaped hull that deflects blasts from below, and a CBRN defense system that protects against chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear attacks. The Namer proved its capabilities in several operations, such as Operation Protective Edge in 2014. Here it survived multiple hits from RPG and a TGM without any damage or injuries. The Namer also demonstrated its versatility by being adapted for different roles and missions, such as combat engineering, medical evacuation, anti-aircraft, and infantry fighting. Now that we know the history and development of the Namer, let's take a closer look at its design and features. The Namer is a massive machine, weighing about 60 tons and measuring 7 meters long, 3.6 meters wide, and 2.5 meters high. It is powered by a 1,200 horsepower diesel engine that can propel it to a maximum speed of 60 kilometers per hour on road and 40 kilometers per hour off road. It has a range of 500 kilometers on a single tank of fuel. The Namer can carry up to 12 troops, including the crew of three, the driver, the commander, and the gunner. The troops enter and exit the vehicle through a wide door ramp at the rear, which also has a sniper port for firing from inside. There are also two roof hatches for observation and emergency exit. The Namer can also accommodate one or two stretchers for medical evacuation. The Namer is armed with a variety of weapons to provide fire support and self-defense. The main weapon is either a M2 Browning machine gun or a MiG-19 grenade launcher mounted on a Samson remote-controlled weapon station, which can be operated from inside the vehicle. The Namer also has a 7.62mm machine gun and a 60mm mortar for indirect fire. Smoke grenade launchers are also fitted to create a smoke screen, but what makes the Namer really stand out is its level of protection. The Namer has a modular armor system that can withstand various types of threats, including mines, rockets, missiles, and bombs. The Namer also has a V-shaped hull that deflects blasts from below, and a CBRN defense system that protects against chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear attacks. The Namer is also equipped with a digital battlefield management system that allows it to communicate and coordinate with other vehicles and units. The Namer can also form hunter-killer teams with Merkava Mark for tanks, using its sensors and weapons to assist the tanks in locating and engaging targets. The Namer is not only a formidable APC, but also a versatile platform that can be adapted for different roles and missions. 
Some of the planned upgrades and additions to the Namer include installing an active protection system, either Iron Fist or Trophy, that can detect and intercept incoming projectiles, fitting an unmanned turret armed with a 30mm cannon and spike MR missiles that can fire from behind cover and engage targets at long range, adding engineering devices such as mine rollers, bulldozer blades, and anti-mine carpet rockets that can clear obstacles and breach enemy defenses. With these enhancements, the Namer will become even more more powerful and capable than before. We have seen the history, development, design, and features of the Namer, but how does it perform in real combat situations? Well, the Namer has proven itself to be a reliable and effective vehicle in various operations and conflicts that Israel has been involved in. Let's see some of the variants and achievements of the Namer. The Namer has several variants and derivatives that have been developed or proposed for different roles and missions. Namer IFV is an infantry fighting vehicle version of the Namer fitted with an unmanned turret armed with a 30mm cannon and spike MR missiles. This version gives the Namer more firepower and range and allows it to fire from behind cover and engage targets at long distances. Namer CEV is a combat engineering vehicle version of the Namer equipped with trophy active protection system and engineering devices such as mine rollers, bulldozer blades, and anti-mine carpet rockets. This version enables the Namer to clear obstacles, breach enemy defenses, and deal with tunnels. Namera is a Merkava-based armored recovery vehicle that shares some components with the Namer. This vehicle can tow damaged or disabled vehicles, repair them in the field, or recover them to a safe location. Namera is a proposed export version of the Namer for foreign customers. This version would be customized to meet the specific requirements and preferences of different countries. The Namer has also shown its capabilities and advantages in combat situations. The IDF stated that the Namer was the most protected armored combat vehicle in the world, which survived multiple hits from RPGs and bombs without any damage or injury as decryption. In one case, a Namer was hit by four RPGs and two Cornet missiles, but none of them penetrated its armor or harmed its occupants. The Namer continued its mission mission as planned. In another case, a Namer was caught in a massive blast that destroyed a nearby house and buried the vehicle under rubble. The Namer managed to dig itself out and drive away without any damage or injuries. The Namer allowed the soldiers to enter and exit safely through its rear door ramp, which also had a sniper port for firing from inside. The Namer also had roof hatches for observation and emergency exit. The Namer's remote-controlled weapon station and mortar gave it fire support and self-defense capabilities. We have come to the end of this video, where we have learned about the Namer, an Israeli armored personnel carrier that is based on a tank chassis and can withstand almost any threat on the battlefield. It was developed to replace the older Achtarit APCs and to provide better protection and mobility for infantry units. It has many unique features and advantages, such as its modular armor, V-Hull Belly Armor Pack, CBRN Defense System, Digital Battlefield Management System, Hunter Killer Team Capabilities, Rear Entrance Door Ramp with a Sniper Port, Roof Hatches, and Stretcher Capacity. It is also armed with either a M2 Browning Machine Gun or a MiG-19 Grenade Launcher mounted on a Samson Remote Controlled Weapon Station, as well as a 7.62mm Machine Gun and a 60mm Mortar. Smoke Grenade Launchers are also carried. It has several variants and derivatives for different roles and missions, such as the Namer IFV, the Namer CEV. It has proven its abilities and performance performance in combat situations, such as Operation Protective Edge, where it survived multiple hits by RPGs and explosive charge weighing half a ton to a ton of explosives, and a house collapsing on it without any damage or injuries to its crew or passengers. It is considered to be the best protected APC in the world today. What do you think of the Namer? Do you think it is the most heavily armored vehicle in the world? Would you like to see more videos about Israeli military vehicles? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for more videos. See you next time on Amazing Weapons.